Hello everybody, Kane here today with another video on a Fossils and Archaeology update. So, uh, this one has just come out today, or tonight I guess, um, and that is the, what is it called? The bug, the bu update, I think, or bug update. Uh, <laughs> anyway, so this is actually an awesome <laughs> little update. Uh, so this has fixed uh, several bugs that we had in the mod. I mean, I'm we're going to get to this in a second. I mean, I know this is probably what you guys are excited for, but... Uh, several bugs that happened in the last update, such as the, uh, all the dinosaurs were pregnant thing has been fixed. Uh, fixed a few things not having proper IDs, Nautiluses escaping, uh, or Nautiluses going to the shells when players in creative. Uh, <laughs> fixed animals not having sounds or having other problems, uh, speeds for analyzation, non -move not moving things, uh, hunger problems, which I actually had noticed, uh, but... I didn't really think they were a bug. Anyway, so we have five new things that got added in with this update. And this actually is a pretty big thing because we are now up to 50 animals in fossils and archaeology. Uh, and here's the three new creatures we have before us today. First off here, we have the Cytopodi, which is like an oviraptor. And I, I really like them. They're quite cool. I like the male's like head colorings. He's very pretty. Um, I like the blue. It's very nice. And we got the little babbies. They kind of remind me of Therizinosaurs in all honesty, in terms of the stance. But they're very, very cool, and I can't wait to get them in the park. Here, now some people might be like, oh, it's Demetrodon. No, it's actually uh, a creature similar called Adaphosaurus. This one's a herbivore, not a carnivore like Demetrodon. But it looks really, really awesome, and I cannot wait to get these things into the park. Um, and actually, I think I know exactly where they're going, because... Uh, uh, when the next episode comes out, hopefully later this week, uh, you guys will you guys will see what I've been planning. Anyway, the final creature that got added in is the Arthlopleura, which, oh my gosh. Okay, like, fossils in archaeology, I love the models in general. I think a lot of their stuff is great, but I was absolutely blown away with not only the model, but the animations on this thing. Like, it actually looks like a giant centipede. Which is absolutely awesome. This thing just looks amazing. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool. I, I'm, i again, very much looking forward to building a bug house for this and the Meganura to live together. Because that's going to be awesome. We also got two brand new trees. They are the... If, let me pull the name up real quick. This, the Sigillaria, which is this giant green one here. I mean, I believe this is a Carboniferous tree, isn't it? Carboniferous tree-like plant. Okay, yeah. That, I mean, it's not the most sightly plant, but it is. That is, that is a big plant. Um, we also get two new wood types here. That one and this one. This one's a cool colored green. It's like an emerald green kind of. I like the trapdoor for it. And then we have the Cordates, another Carboniferous tree plant thing. And I like this one. This would actually work, I think, in some of the exhibits I've built uh, as a basically a substitute for some pine trees. But I'm pretty happy with how that looks, and we have, again, more wooden blocks you can use. Uh, let me actually pull up the DNA if I can find it. So, sit a party. So, there's the DNA, there's the egg. Ooh, and the skull. That's very cool looking. Adaphosaurus, egg, and DNA. Oh, that's interesting. And finally, we have the Arth. Oops. Arth. I actually have no idea how you spell Arthropleura. I am actually slightly upset I don't know how to spell it. How did I... Okay, I have no idea what I was spelling there. Whatever it was, it was wrong. That is a cool looking DNA. So... Oh, that's interesting. I'm starting to wonder if they're uh, color coding the DNAs. Actually, I think they are. So everything in this like bright green color here, I guess except for the fish that... Um, where are they? They're probably towards the top. Aside from, like, the coelacanth, it appears this bright green one is, like, all of our, uh, Carboniferous-type creatures, so Daf- Although, I believe the Adaphosaurus isn't Carboniferous. It is Carboniferous. Oh, no, it is early Permian as well. Okay, that's what I was thinking. I was, like, I was pretty sure it was Permian, because that's when the Demetrodon lived. Anyway, so here are some of the items and stuff for these creatures. Uh, super cool. Uh, they're awesome. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I was like, oh, let's get the Arthropura Plura item. It, it doesn't have one because uh, it's a bug. Michaelisera's antlers. I didn't know those were in the game. But yeah, here are some of the items. I really like the Cytopodi egg. 
Oh, and it's actually that bluish color. Oh, that's awesome. I love that because that's a bit different. Uh, oh, and it appears we found our first bug. The Adaphosaurus egg does not actually have a texture. So um, I guess we can, if someone wants to report that to the devs, feel free to. Um, actually, I could probably report that tonight, but it'd be cool if it has a texture. I could probably throw up a texture myself real quick. That's not too difficult to do. But yeah, these are the brand new creatures, brand new trees. Um, there were a ton of bug fixes, like I said, fixing the all dinosaurs are pregnant thing, which is awesome. I can't tell you how much I enjoy that because I'd like to actually see how old the dinosaurs are and stuff and whether they're male or female because it makes it a lot easier to name them. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Hope you've all enjoyed this update and are looking forward to seeing this stuff in the series and episodes to come. Until next time, guys. See ya.